My name is Lorenzo Richardson, and I am here as a resident and taxpayer of Jersey City. I also want to disclose that I am a member of the Jersey City Board of Education. Please note that I am speaking as an individual, and I am not authorized to speak on behalf of the board, nor am I speaking on behalf of the board. These are my own personal statements and comments. I want to say that I am having a problem with the implementation of Common Core and Park. I personally took the third grade math and 11th grade language arts practice tests and have many concerns about the reliability and the relevance of the test questions. My biggest concern is the amount of time being used in the classroom for test prep in place of instruction. The big question after this park transition is over will be, what did the children learn actually what did the children actually learn during this time? I thought that tests are thoroughly gone over by experts and vetted for accuracy and significance to the subjects that are being taught in the public schools. Everywhere I go around this state and in other states, this does not seem to be the case. And why are there only 12 states taking the test? Wait, excuse me. Two states backed out and I think we're one of only 10 left dealing with this test. If we are going to be fair to our children who already have enough to deal with in this world we are living in, at least we as the adults should ensure that they are being treated with respect and dignity. This Park and Common Core process clearly has not done that based on the testimonies I have heard in Jersey City, Newark, Montclair, and the numerous other cities in New Jersey and around the country that are taking part in these, in these exams. And you have to ask yourself, what is this really about? You don't rush to get it right when you're doing something like this, but you do need to take things seriously and listen to the feedback that is coming from all over the state. This needs to be reevaluated and possibly scrapped. Is there another test other than PARC that can be considered? Can all the stakeholders be brought to the table to analyze and scrutinize the exam and test it on the adults before it is tested on our children? I'm just saying. Our babies are not guinea pigs. This reminds me of No Child Left Behind, which left many children behind. It was an unfunded mandate that was not well thought out. I ask you to re-examine this initiative and find something that will work in the best interests of all involved, especially our children. How about using the NAEP exam, the National Assessment of Educational Progress exam, as an assessment tool? And should we really be testing so much that when there is a finite amount of time for our children to learn the things they need to be prepared to go into the world? I ask you to take these things into consideration, and I thank you for your time. And my final comment, if I could take the time to say, and I use this as a personal mantra. When I learned that slaves were being killed for trying to read, that told me everything I needed to know about how important education is. And if we're not taking as a serious approach to education as that, then we're not doing our job. Thank you and good night.